tell me why you think Grandma asked us to make this film. Film Laura, what are you doing here today? I'm here to film Laura too. <laughs> Do you think we ever booked this gig? <laughs> I think she ever booked this gig. <laughs> we want to film you telling us why you want us to make this <laughs> documentary. <laughs> you asked for this. <laughs> and, uh... At the moment, there's a culture of not talking about this sort of thing. It's a sort of hush hush. You, uh, you don't talk about death. It's as you sort of pretend it doesn't happen. This needs to be made public, and the most effective way of making anything public nowadays is not to write a book, is to make a film. She had cameras around her all her life. I mean, we're a family of filmmakers. You're third generation filmmaker. I grew up with my dad making films, and you've grown up with me making films. So you think she enjoyed being filmed? I do. She was certainly used to it, and she understood its power. She asked me to make a film about her when tragedy struck in her 60s, when she was sexually assaulted in her house in South Africa. And the film was a search for justice. It had a big impact, and she saw that. And I think that's why she wanted us to make this film about her final chapter of life. Mum. This was a very big task you gave me and Sam. I hadn't thought about all of these implications of how you can rethink how you end your life. It's been a massive task and it's been difficult and very challenging. So, should we talk about the filming? Do you feel ready for that? She's lying this way. Yeah. Then we should sit that side because we don't really want that behind us. We'll put one of your cameras there on a tripod. Yeah. And then another like here and up. And then we'll have your camera on a wide. Otherwise it's too short. Whoa, this is so weird. Mm. Oh, mm. So weird. <laughs> I can't, I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> what the know. fuck? When she fell in Clinderdike, when we were in the hospital and she had blood coming out of her face, Laura looked at me and grabbed my hand and was like, you better make the most of this. Film everything. <laughs> Grandma, I have hated so much of making this film. I'm going to film myself doing uncomfortable things, which has been a theme of the last two and a half years of my life. But watching the footage of your death many months later. What is the time? It's half past two. Right. Probably time to go. I could see how loved you were. And I remembered how cared for you were. And you did it anyway. You still pushed the button. So the film actually helped give me some closure. It has given me the opportunity to think about life and how we live it and how we choose to live out the end of our lives and our ways of dying. You've given me so many more options to think about and hearing all the other voices and the other ways of framing this has been really valuable. I'm just so grateful that you have given us this challenge. This is a good, good cause. And you're gonna make a good, good film and you're gonna cause a tsunami.